Hey everyone, how's it going? So I know I've been gone from Blinks for a while, but I wanted to talk about something I think only a single digit amount of people have even noticed or even talked about, and that's the alternate control setting in the main menu. It's okay if you've never noticed this before, I've always forgot it's an option too. Even when you switch to it, it doesn't give you any info on what changed from the original control scheme. So what does this even change, and is it impactful enough to consider using this setting? Well, let's go through both controller settings and we'll see what Blinks is able to do. And for fun, I'll add in a few facts for you. But well, one of the things that doesn't get changed between normal and alternate controls is blinks jumping and double jumping, both pressed with the A button. When you press A, there's 5 frames where blinks is still on the ground, preparing to jump. This animation gives blinks some visual weight, sort of how you would likely jump in real life. When blinks double jumps, he will close his eyes until he hits this frame in animation, and this can be achieved on the ground or in midair too. So our first change between control schemes, the time control menu. Normal accesses the menu while holding the B button, while for alternate, it's the X button. While in this menu, the game is paused, so you can choose your time controls without needing to rush. The pause occurs while holding B or X for 6 frames. You can control the menu with the D-pad or the left thumbstick. Switching to normal or alternate does not change this. The next change is for sweeping and shooting with our time sweeper. This is probably one of the most significant changes when switching between control schemes. For the normal control setting, X and right trigger both sweep and shoot your sweeper. Alternate changes it to B, and that's it. There's no other button or trigger to shoot unlike the original setting. Next, pulling out the sweeper. No changes for this one. They both use the Y button. Pulling out the sweeper allows you to see what Blinks is aiming at before he shoots anything. Blinks will only aim at something if there is trash in his inventory, otherwise he'll only aim at trash. Useful for aiming at those targets. After a certain amount of time being pulled out, the sweeper will automatically be put back after 5 seconds, or 150 frames. An extra 20 frames for it to be put on your back. It will also be put away when Blinks double jumps, but you can pull it out by shooting or pressing the Y button while double jumping. Now, let's talk about the triggers. Previously I said that for the normal setting, the right trigger also sweeps and shoots your sweeper. This is my preferred way of sweep and shoot. And what about the left trigger? Well, that doesn't do anything. Sorry. With the alternate setting, there's a big difference. The left and right triggers move the camera, with the left trigger moving clockwise and the right trigger moving counterclockwise. The left and right bumpers, or the black and white buttons for an original Xbox controller, these buttons don't do anything for Blinks. Unless you're playing on the PAL copy of Blinks and you're a player 2 on your console. You can use a level skip cheat by holding down both bumpers or the black and white buttons at the same time. I have no idea why, but it only works for the PAL version of Blinks. Moving around with Blinks, full diagonal movement, and moving the camera has no difference with both controller settings. Besides that, alternate can move the camera with both the triggers and the right thumbstick. And lastly, the right thumbstick click that brings the camera closer to Blinks. It's the same no matter what setting you have. You can click the thumbstick in and move the camera around Blinks with the right thumbstick. But you cannot move the camera with the triggers while the camera is clicked in to Blinks with the alternate setting. Nothing important, but it's there. You can also shoot trash in the direction that you're facing in the closed click view. Not very useful, but again, it's there. And, oh wait, there's one more thing I could talk about. The side flips and the back flips. Not affected by any control scheme, but if you ever wanted to know about the side and the back flip, well, here it is. The single side flip and back flip are activated by pressing the jump button and then quickly pressing a direction that will send blinks into a flip relative to the camera. Once you get the timing down on it, you can side flip and back flip semi-reliably. You can also double jump side flip and double jump back flip. This is just a fancy way of saying you can do a side flip and a back flip instead of doing a double jump. The timing is slightly different from experience. To avoid side flipping and back flipping on accident, I would suggest less jerky movements with the thumbstick. Try not to panic in high tense situations, that's what usually causes the flips. And stay calm and collected. These tips won't stop the side flips and the back flips forever, but it will lessen the chance of you accidentally misinputting it if you're more aware of your movements. So now that we've gone over all the changes with normal and ultimate, which one should you use? The main thing about the normal controls is that you can shoot with your right trigger if you don't like shooting with the X button, while the main thing with alternate is that the triggers are the camera controls if you don't like touching the right thumbstick while you play, and that sweep shooting and time controls are switched around. One benefit to alternate is that you can jump and maneuver the camera at the same time with little to no trouble, while with normal, you have to take your thumb off the A button to use the camera, or move your hand into an unusual position to use both at the same time. I don't have trouble with this personally, but this is a good option for others who aren't as fast with their hands. So if you hate flicking the right stick to move the camera, switch to alternate and give it a chance. Alternate can be very useful for controllers with the right thumbstick, like the Hori fighting controller. 
And that's about it for this secret alternate controller setting for Blinks. Depending on how this video goes in the editing process, I'll either be back with a few more videos or I'll be gone for another three months. I just wasn't really enjoying editing Blinks videos at the time, so I took a break. If more videos, yippee! If no videos, I'm sorry. Anyway, thanks for watching.